Hello, and welcome back to my Nuzlocke egg randomizer, not egglock, no, it's a Nuzlocke randomizer run of Pokemon Insurgents. Gotta love that really large cry. Right, uh, let's load up the right save game. So, we're playing as Jason with my Dialga. Oh. Diago found an item but dropped it. So this is where we saved last time. Um, I've subsequently, since my last playthrough, been told that Dialga is a legendary Pokemon, and that is a Steel Dragon type, which is amazing. Um, yeah, there it is, Steel Dragon. Possibly way too overpowered for this, but then again, could come up against another legendary at any point in time. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's kind of where things have been left off. Now, because this is a Nuzlocke, I will not be able to um, catch every Pokemon I see. It can only be the first Pokemon from each area. Should I be really strict to myself? Yep. Yeah. So, I've already been through this next area here when I've, in the first part as Mew. Well, with Mew. And so, I'm not actually going to be able to catch any Pokemon there. But, what I need to do first is obtain some actual Pokeballs to do this. Um, I can't quite even remember what the mission was, but I remember I was supposed to go up. The second Alga is the most amazing person ever. They say so strong he defeated Kyogre in a wrestling match. Isn't that incredible? Yes, very incredible. Hi there, I'm an employee at the Pokemart. It's a convenient store chain that can be found at the top floor of any Pokemon Center, just like the one here. The center is an important place for any trainer to know. You can heal your Pokemon, buy things, or even visit the bottom floor to buy new clothes. Why don't you take these for a free sample? And they're my Pokeballs. Brilliant. Jason put the Pokeballs in the Pokeballs pocket. Throw the, those at wild Pokemon to catch them. Right, so another mistake that I made, this was more by not intentional at all, was I uh, forgot to give Dialga a nickname. And I was told that the name changer is in the basement here, and I think this might be him. Is this? Yep, name changer, name rater. Yep. Right, let's give Diago a nickname so we can get this Nuzlocke off to a proper start. Yes. Right, Diago, we're going to call him Dudley. That very popular British name, Dudley, which was pulled into disrepute by a certain unpalatable cousin of a famous fictional wizard. But let's reclaim the name. So, me and Dudley, Jason and Dudley, taking on the world. Let's see how this goes. Um, does he need healing? Yes. Do not want to take any risks with him. Very happy that I ended up with a legendary. Slightly worried that because he is a legendary, he is going to end up being too overpowered for the Pokemon that I come across, but we'll see how it goes. Obtained the Poke Gear. Oh, that's not the right thing. Whoops. Let's try that again. Okay, so it looks like we're on our way to Medina Town. There we oh, we had to get a stone, didn't we? Let's see. It's frozen. Okay, this is it. Crunch time. First trainer battle. This could go horribly, horribly wrong. This could be the Nuzlocke over here. Oh my word, what is that? Delphax. Dragon Breath of Metal called Dragon Breath. Oh. Haha, oh. -ha. steel. Steel is the way to go. Oh, my. oh no, oh dear, no. It's, that was a dragon. That's a ghost move, isn't it? It's steel. Oh no, it's. See again, so I've only played up to. I've only played really up to the um, second generation, which is silver and gold, where steel was brought in to specifically beat ghost. But I think that that was removed when it was. Um, I think that that was removed when in the later generations. I think that might be the only, only generation. I don't. I can't. I don't know what generation this technically runs off. Um, 
I'm not an expert, as you probably guessed by me, by me not knowing who Dialga was at all. Um, and Darker Eye as well, who I imagine is a proper Pokemon. I still don't know anything about it. And at this point in time, I'm not too fussed to find out. I'm quite... I'm along for the ride. Do I want to keep going through the... I probably do. I need to kind of get, get him strong. So let's grab that potion. And let's see if we can... Right, here we go. Talk about tension. What's this? A cricky tot. Cricky tot. Right, Dudley, let's blow them away. Dragon breath. It's just too quick. So quick. It's, hila it's hilarious how fast it is. These guys don't stand a chance. Bug catcher. Alright. Oh. Right. Ah, Mr. Mime. That's one that I know. I wonder if I can... I don't even want to try and not hit them to... Oh dear, it doesn't affect Mr. Mime. Okay, right. So, Mr. Mime... Is he a fairy type now then? Is he... Oh my word. Okay, right. Come on, hit. Yes. Oh dear. Why did he switch stat boosts with me? Why did he. That was the dumbest thing to do. He just gave me the defense there. Oh well. Ah, oh, this, this is more nerve wracking than I thought. I'm just like terrified of losing. Like, I didn't even realize you could be this scared of losing in it. Um, and all these trainers. Right, let's just keep going through the grass and grind up a little bit more because I don't feel strong enough. And the fact that it could be anything is go go let. Oh, hang on. Why am I grinding here? I should go straight into the next area and grab a new Pokemon. I'm gonna I'm not gonna catch anything, am I? I'm not gonna be cat um Dragon Breath does too much damage. Um Let's see. What what do his moves do damage wise? Cause 60 50. Too much damage. It's gonna just kill everything. I've got 37 health. If I got hit by Dragon Breath, I don't know how the modifiers quite work, but if I'm fairly sure if I got hit by Dragon Breath, that means I'd be right. New area. Let's catch this. What is this? An unpheasant. An unpheasant. Right. Let's open with the Pokeball. I'm worried about doing this thing any damage. Come on, come on, come on. No, right. Gust. Not a lot? No. Well, that's fine. That's fine by me. Right, Metal Claw. Come on, don't, 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 don't. Ho -ho! Held in there. Held in there. Welcome to the team, and pheasant. I'm just... Oh, what? I uh, almost had it. It's exactly how I'm feeling right now. I cannot believe that. That's ridiculous. Um, just realised that because Dudley is without... is a legendary. He doesn't actually have a gender. The Sun present is male. Oh, come on. I need to catch you. <laughs> I need to catch you. Oh... Can just throw more Pokeballs if I hit him with anything else, he's going to die. Oh, this is a disaster. Absolute disaster. No, no, this is not going well. Oh, do I hold on? No, I'm just gonna th screw it, throw that last Pokeball. And just hope. Come on, up and A, up and A. No, so so close. That's exactly how I felt. Oh, bye bye, bye bye. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, yeah. I despair. I despair. Oh. Well, there goes that Pokemon. I 
should probably go to the Pokemon and buy some more stuff. But right, I've got enough money to buy some more. This is a cave. If I go in the cave, that'll be a new area. So I need to have Pokeballs to catch the first thing in that area. So I'm very sorry if this is irritating, but I kind of need to just get back. Hopefully this will be a fine boss battle. Not boss battle. It's not even a boss battle. It's been a long day. It's been a long, long day. Right. Dragon Breath. I'll tell you what. Just the, the delay. The, oh my word. No. No. Right. That's fine. I am terrified of losing this guy. Ancient power. That sounds good. That's what unknown use. Execute. Drag it. They're psychic, aren't they? Is that good? What do I have? What do I have? What do I have? What do I have? I've got potions. Right, there we go. Let's use one of these. Hypnosis. Oh dear, no. Oh. It's all going wrong. It's all going wrong. Right. Is hypnosis the only move that execute new? No, at this level. Or is it? Are there move sets randomised as well? Rock. That's not going to be good. Are they grass and psychic? Oh dear. At least it's reflect. Come on. Let's just try and get some dragon breath out there. Wake up. Okay, that's fine now. I'm, I'm less worried. Barrage, it's not doing anything. Um, it's lagging out a bit at the moment. It didn't do that last time. And every time it does, it keeps making me think that something's happening that's super effective or like this, because it delays when it's, do when it's uh, not effective at all. Screw you, juggler. <sighs> Stressful. Stressful. Fun though. I've not... I was about to say I've not had this much fun playing Pokeball for a while. That's not true. It's just a different kind of fun. Is Steel good against Electric? Rock is, isn't it? No, no. Rock isn't. It's Ground that is. Oh wow. Didn't really make that much of a difference. Right. Void Bug Catcher. Oh man, stressful. Exciting though. I'm enjoying this. I can see why people enjoy these challenge runs. It's uh, certainly it just gives it a new kind of um, like layer of uh, what is it? It just gives new life to the game, and it's um, yeah, it just kind of raises your raises the challenge and how nervous you feel going into a fight because. Normally it is just uh, you lose a bit of your money, isn't it? Right. Let's buy ten. Yeah. Let's buy ten of those. Right. Repel. No, I don't want any repel. No, oh, it's pre pre premier ball as well. Right. Here we go. Let's try this again. Let's just save. Don't want to have to. I keep saying don't want to have to repeat this. Really, it's if something happens to my computer. Because if I get wiped out, there's like no point because that's the end of the run. Um, but old habits die hard, really. Um, right. Oh my word! That's a horrific thing. Car Carnivine. Never seen that before. It's like a Venus flytrap. Dragon breath. Burn it. Burn it. <laughs> Just ploughing through them at the moment. But again, I'm kind of worried that I'll end up overleveling for the Pokemon in the next area and I'll just plough through them, but I won't be able to catch anything. Right, here we go. So, couldn't catch anything here. Let's try and catch something in here. Tell in the cave. I can get around there, can't I? Yeah. One Pokeball. 
I love this music. I don't know if it's coming up properly, but I just love it. It's great. He's a trainer. I don't trust him. Come on. Let's just... Uh, can... I'm not getting any random encounters here, though. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Come on, something good. What's that? Gorbis. Go go Gorbis. That's an interesting looking thing. Is that a water Pokemon? If it is, is that ba oh, is that steel? Oh, steel? Hmm. Is that no? <gasps> okay. Right. Don't be too. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh, phew. Whew. Huh. That's just. So that's the equivalent of rap. I'm, I'm, this is where my lack of detailed knowledge of types is kind of making it it's quite embarrassing really but right first Pokemon here we go catch it yes Gorbis Whew. well my heart is actually pounding a little bit maybe I am eating too much food at the moment and it's like not helping me. Water. Gorbis siphons the body fluids of prey through its thin tubular mouth. Its light pink body turns vivid when it finishes feeding. Interesting. Gorbis's nickname is a female. Um, Ellie. She looks. The Gorbis looks like an eel. Let's call her Ellie, like Ellie the eel. Ah, <sighs> Dudley and Ellie. Right. Now, before I get any further, I'm going to want to be back again to the Pokemon Center. I may just cut it to this point. Oh dear. No. Rotom. Again, it's, this ele it's electric good against steel, but I know it's. Let's just Dragon Breath it. Let's finish him off quick. Now, I've encountered Rotom in my main save because if you speak to a TV too many times then wrote a really high level Rotom attacks you and I've not been able to beat one yet um, because I've not effectively ground my Pokemon um, to deal with it yet because I've not got very far um, Dragon Breath Let's get rid of it. Oh. Phew. the thing as well is because because the levels are so low here, you kind of you're used to high level Pokemon, so you can kind of gauge better how much damage things do. Oh, skip them. That's not going to do anything, is it? Um, but because it's um, did that that didn't even look like that did one damage there. But because all the levels are so much lower, it's so much harder to gauge what level your Pokemon are at um, in terms of how much damage they can take because um, yeah it's it's just you're just having to try and view it differently because you'd never get oh I forgot that because you never you never get these kinds of um, Pokemon at this level normally Kofagria oh he looks he looks nasty. He looks really bad. Really, really bad. Dragon Breath. Right, there we go. Huh. Oh wow, it paralyzes. That's a great move. <laughs> it's a bit too late for that. Nice. I did not realize that Dragon Breath could paralyze. Dudley was mummified. Dud Dudley was mummified? What does that mean? Is that a new status or is that... Looks like that was not... Um, not a move... Not a move which normally affects it outside of battle. Maybe it's one of these ones which affects it inside battle only. Anyway, I'm past it now. No more Pokemon battles. There's a little bit of grass just here. Let's get Ellie back to safety so we can heal her up and then 
crack on with getting through to the next bit, get that stone for the alga. Yes, I would like to rest my Pokemon. So, as you probably just noticed, the time of day of this just changed from dark to light. Um, I had to do a very quick cut there um, because, yeah, um, I had to stop recording and I just continued where I left off. Hopefully that seemed like a rather seamless transition. Um, awesome here, let's just see if there's any other items I need. could do with another awakening and stuff. Um, because when you don't know what Pokemon you're going to come up against, you don't know what status conditions you are going to need to deal with. Um, there is no awakening. Oh, let's just get some antidotes then. Don't want any Pokemon fainting out of battle. Right, so. Let's just switch Ellie to the front. Get her some trained up before we deal with this. Ooh. Hello, Ellie. Anxious to see what Jason does next. Right, let's make our way back to that cave. Skirting through the grass. That fly flygon. You have flygonite in this, don't you? Flygon is gr grass is strong against water, and I think that's a water one. So, sorry, grass. Ellie is water. Flygon, I think, looks like a grass flying type. Let's switch him out for Dudley. Mud, mud slap, super effective, but luckily it didn't do anything. Ancient power, will that work against the flying? No, well, not if it misses. Could do without that happening. Bide, oh dear. Finish him off in, oh. I need to finish him off in one. Finish him off in one. Uh oh. Run. Not, not risking... Uh, see, I remember the move Bide, and I'm not risking all of that coming straight back at me. Um, you are allowed to run from battles in a Nuzlocke run, aren't you? I've not heard that that's one of the rules. Um, if it is a rule, and I've just skipped it, then my apologies. Do leave a comment for me, correcting me, um, because... <laughs> I don't mean to. What is it? Bas Bastiodon. I don't mean to break rules if I have genuinely got no idea. He looks like a ground type. Let us. Oh wow, it's water and psychic. Um, water sport is no use here. Oh, I've got. That's a really pants move, isn't it? Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Metal sound. So is it? Is it steel then? Steel and ground. Could be. Um, that's not very effective. Um, let's just use Whirlpool again. Finish him off. Taunt. Fell for the taunt. What does taunt do? Is it like a berserk style move? Forces them to attack? Right. Here we go. Crunch time. Quick save. Habitual quick save. If I lose, it's game over anyway. Right. Ruin Maniac Garen would like to battle. Tentacruel. Hmm. Tentacruel. Right. Let's try doing Whirlpool. Oh. Right, not very effective, but hopefully some traps now. Slow damage. Let's get some confusion in there. Don't poison. Oh dear. Um. Oh, that works. That works. Right, let's keep. Don't use. Oh, that's fine. The Strix is fine. There we go. We're nailing this, guys. We've got this. Level 10. Send in Porygon 2. 
that changes types and things, but I know nothing else about it. Um, no. Hopefully, it can't really do much else. Um, so let's use Whirlpool. Get some regular damage doing against it. Transformed into the Psychic type. So is it now going to be... Are Psychics very damaged by Psychics? No. No, they're not. Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh. I got very cocky there. And lost my Pokemon. <laughs> oh, that's awful. Finish him off. Well, there goes my first Pokemon that I caught. It was all going so well. And I got cocky. Oh, Ellie. Ellie. I don't have anything to take. I'm gonna have to release you now when I can I I can't I can't release. Yeah, can I? I need to actually. Oh that's depressing. Oh It's just you and me again, Dudley. Us against the world. We had a friend, but they died. Oh man. The threat of the Nuzlocke. This looks like a dark Pokemon. Flying in dark. <sighs> Depressing. Right, let's get rid of him. Rock is good against birds because you can kill two birds with one stone. I believe is why they've done that typing. Right. Is it over? Is it over? You a little bit young to be travelling with Pokemon. Ooh. Right. Hi Kakina and then Electro Buzz, that's fine. Should be fine. Dragon Breath. No kick. <gasps> no. So. I panic. I panic a lot when I play this game. Like so much more than I do when I normally play, but that's because when you normally play you know exactly how everything is going to affect you and all these things. Let's just take him out. Horsey is a cute one, but uh, not very strong. I vaguely remember one of the um, episodes that it was in on the anime. The um, Let's heal up in case I need to fight anything else. Um, where Misty had like a horsey and it was just useless and uh, they were like having to try and make the horsey feel better about itself because it can do anything with squirt ink. Paras. One of the darker Pokemon stories about because when it evolves into Parasect what's happened to it is those two mushrooms on its back have grown and taken over the Paras's um, like mind, so it's uh, oh dear, I've paralysed. Um, well, why did that have to happen? Now, do I risk continuing like that, or do I evac? Um, I've got two potions left. Let's just press on. Could be my undoing. But anyway, so with Parasect, it, the mushrooms on its back take over the brain of it so it becomes um, essentially like a zombie um, a zombie Pokemon so the mushrooms take over its uh, take over control of the Paris so when it evolves it's kind of no longer a Pokemon and more a, like an infected um, husk controlled by a fungus chestnut I don't like the look of that. That looks like it could be vicious. And I don't have the um, guarantee that I'm going to be hit getting hits on him. 
Jason, that you were so slow, you took forever. Anyways, I think the rest stone the mayor's talk about was over here. Over on the far right of the cave, you can't miss it. He will not leave Telna Town alive. My agent is already in place. I assume yours is too? Yes, and armed to the brink with the strongest of Pokemon. Rest assured, he will be dead before he leaves Telna Town. Very good. This Alga disgusts me. I could not at least grudging I could at least grudgingly respect the first one, but this one is just useless. He practically brainwashed the entire region with all this propaganda he spread about himself. Have you heard how ridiculous some of it is? He was born of fire and lightning, and he rode to Xenerseus as a steed. The man's been Alga for a year, and already the people are worshipping him. Well, we don't have to worry about him after today, do we? Let's get going. Well, that's probably that's what that Kyogre comment was, wasn't it? Propaganda. Jason. Those were cultists. Did you hear what they were saying? They're planning to assassinate the Alga when he comes to Telna Town. I can't believe we're caught up in the middle of this. We we need help. We need to go back and warn the Alga before the assassins get to him. We have to hurry. The Alga might have already arrived. Quick, let's go. Oh, there we go. That's a nice evac. So I don't need to worry about my um getting the Alga back safely. Damien, Jason, you're late. The Alga arrived five minutes ago. He's waiting for you two in the town hall. Jason, we have to hurry. The Alga could be attacked any minute now. Right. I think this episode has gone on for quite long enough. So what we'll do, we'll rest our Pokemon. We'll put Ellie back inside the um, thing. Back shouldn't have healed her, should it? No, it didn't. Right, so. Let's deposit. Huh? Can't deposit last Pokemon. Move Pokemon. Let's get Ellie. Bye bye. Oh. <laughs> bye, Ellie. Well, that. It's the end of this episode. We've loved, we've lost. And we're back to the dynamic duo, Jason and Dudley, against the world. Off to go save the Alga. Well, that's the end of this episode, guys. We'll uh, continue this in the next episode where we go and save the Alga from an assassination attempt. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave an upvote on reddit a like or a comment here just so that i can gauge interest in this and whether or not i continue it after the next episode um so far the reception has been positive and yeah if you enjoy it then i will record more thank you very much and goodbye <laughs>